Newton. I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Many of you are probably wondering, who is this man? Why should I listen to him? Well, as to your first question, I've already answered it. And I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And to your second, I can assure you there is a very good reason. Today's question comes from Miss Vincent, who is curious about the proper way in which to smoke a cigar. She is somewhat concerned because even though cigars are rather large, they are expected to be smoked all in one go, and she finds this somewhat incongruous. Now, to truly understand cigars, one must understand tobacco and its origin on the dark southern continent. It is in those vast steamy jungles that this relationship between man and plant developed in dark, unspeakable ways in the years before Cortez. Now, uh, this is not to be confused with cigarettes. Although they share a similar origin, cigarettes have been successfully domesticated by the West and refined into an item of sophistication and culture, whereas cigars still maintain something of that chthonic earthiness about them. E even their shape and size is reminiscent of pagan dolmens, and their sense of ritual which surrounds them borders at time on the ecstatic, as those of us in the modern age attempt to reclaim something of those, those terrible, bloody days of the Incas and Aztec empires. So I would not go too concerned about following custom. Smoke the cigar as you like. Uh, if you were to be truly vigorous in your observation of ritual, why, you would only ever smoke it wearing a jaguar mask and holding the still bleeding heart of an enemy on the top of some stepped pyramid. So smoke as you like, though preferably not around children. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.